devastating. That's how people are describing the final closure of Appledore in North Devon today, marking the end of over 100 years of shipbuilding. Yes, the historic yard was founded in 1855. By 1970, a brand new yard had been built. In its heyday, around a 1,000 people were employed there. But by the early 2000s, the yard had faced going into receivership and staff numbers were down to around 500. Current operators Babcock took on the site in 2007 and when the last bell sounded earlier today, the remaining members of the 200-strong workforce walked out for the last time. Well, Kirk England is there for us tonight. Kirk. Well, Justin, it's been a very emotional day for many people here in Appledore. And I've often been told, actually, that shipbuilding is in the village's DNA. And that is all because of the shipyard behind me here. And from welders to shipwrights, many people have spent most of their working lives in these two massive sheds, building ships that have ended up going all over the world. And those workers today, they drove out of the yard for the last time. They stopped, shook hands with the security guard and handed back their ID passes. And now the gates are locked and 164 years of shipbuilding history here in Appledore has finished. The sign's gone and so have the workers. To, to see shipbuilding not happening on the Torridge anymore, yeah, it's awful, uh, yeah, very, very upset. So. Devastated, sad, emotional, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a way of life, the shipbuilding in this yard, it's a family, it's a brotherhood. I've always thought, you know, I've worked in there and I see, feel a real sense of pride when a ship gets floated out the dock, you know, you know you've been a part of building that. Great workforce, a very highly skilled workforce, as you see with the vessels we've turned out over the years, but that'll be gone. And it just won't be the work gone, it'll be millions gone out of our local community in the future. For many, it's the end of an era. It's heartbreaking because it was the lifeblood of the village. It's the foundation. Appledore was built on the shipyard, you know, and the, the building of ships. And they've lost that heritage now. People have been sharing posts saying it's extremely sad. There's a sad feeling down at the, down at the yard. Waiting for that last bell, 12.30 today. Operators Babcock say the closure is down to lack of work. Half the workforce is moving to their other site, Devonport Dockyard. The rest are taking redundancy. There's anger at the local MP for not doing more to keep the yard open. Now we are in a position where we have to find a new operator and we have been working intensively to that end and we're not giving up. Michael Gwegan spent 40 years at the yard. He now looks after the Appledore Archive. Hundreds and hundreds of years of shipbuilding has just gone and when the skills go, the, the revival chances just go with it. I dream that it, is, it's, it will open up again but in my heart I think it's gone. Well, Kenny Davis is the Mayor of Appledore and Northam and he also used to work at the yard for many years. Kenny, how does it feel this evening? Very disappointing. I have to say it's a bad day for British shipbuilding and a badder day for Appleton Shipyard and I feel for the poor people who've lost their jobs. Now you used to work in there when it was in its heyday when there were a thousand people in those sheds there. How, what was that like? It was buzzing, it was alive, there was a thousand men and there were three ships on the go at the time and three shifts. And, was... and how big a part did, does Appledore Shipyard and how big a part did it play in the economy of, and life of the village. It is a lifeblood of the village, a lifeblood of the area from Biddyford to Torrington to Barnstable, Westford Hall, all over the area. And how do you feel about the likelihood of another operator coming forward and taking the yard over? Excellent, I have sooner the better and the sooner they, the better and I hope for one day that the security will hand back the ID cards to the workers as they drive in again on the first day. Okay. Kenny Davis, thank you very much for joining us this evening. Well, there have been expressions of interest in Appledore Shipyard, but no deals have been signed, so it looks like those gates are going to stay locked for the time being. Okay, Kirk, thanks very much indeed.